Hey there, fellas. Today we have something lovely in store for you, by which I mean we'll be screwing around. Since the cold weather in our parts is pretty brutal, I mean we're experiencing some serious freezing temperatures. I remember seeing a fun photo. Here it is. We'll warm it up and go. We received a bunch of requests uh, for us to pour water on a car and let it freeze up. Then try to get in somehow and make an attempt at uh, firing it up. Maybe even pry it out of the ice later on. Anyway guys, that's what we're doing today. Since it's extremely cold outside, and since this car has been standing around for a while, to the point where we can't stand looking at it anymore, I think we found a good way to use it. The motor in here still has some life in it. It starts and even runs okay, even though it does make all sorts of interesting noises. I mean, it is at the edge of its life, but that's not the point. As you all know, we're all about taking things up a notch. We'll also be testing a curious little device. We were contacted by some dudes from our hometown who make a thermal casing for car batteries. It's not just any casing. It's also heated from the battery. This is the perfect opportunity to put this thing through its paces in extreme conditions. We'll give the car a few days to freeze over. To make enough ice, we'll need at least two or three, maybe even four days. We don't know that yet. Anyway, we'll throw a battery in and install and hook up this appliance. I'll explain everything along the way. As they say, enough talk, let's get to it. Everything looks pretty simple. Nothing complicated at all. It's easy to assemble. I'm sure anybody can figure it out. I'm really keen on testing this here thing. Here we have a pouch the same size as the battery. They produce thermal casing for small-sized batteries and for bigger units as well, for cars and trucks alike. Let's put it together. Get the bottom panel in there, fit it there nice and tight. Now we take the battery and squeeze it in. This is quite interesting, isn't it? Right, so we done here? Great. Now we get to the best part. As you know, a frozen battery won't charge during startup. I mean, it is frozen. This kit includes thermal sheets and a temperature switch. When a car battery is frozen in a car parked outside, it's not going to charge up. Here's what these here sheets do. Since we are dealing with modern technology here, these sheets give the battery a quick warm-up. After that, it's good to charge, which means it'll quickly regenerate. The manufacturer of this thermal casing says it underwent testing, during which it sat for five days in a freezer set to minus 40, and the battery didn't even cool down to ambient temperature. It stayed at about minus 18 Celsius. That's after five days, yo. That's exactly what we want to find out, how well this thing works. It's pretty easy to put together. As you can see, it's a very simple install. No issues to report. After throwing everything together, we have to carefully seal it off. A small strap is included for securing the battery. Since the stock fasteners might not be up to the task, it might seem like Velcro isn't a great solution. But once you get the ends together, Chances are you're not pulling them apart. All right, let's throw it in. Deep freezing. We'll warm it up and go. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. As you can see, the install is pretty simple. Now we just power up this here thermal casing. This is positive, this is negative, pretty obvious stuff. And here we have a gauge that shows us which mode our device is working in. It'd either be on standby, that's the yellow LED. Wall to green means that the battery is being warmed up. Here's another cool thing. We have one more red LED, just in case the alternator craps out. So that's it. Everything's installed, powered up and ready to go. Now we just uh, fit this here cap as tightly as possible, so that we seal everything off nicely. Awesome, this thing's pretty convenient. The material itself is completely resistant to acid, 
So even if some electrolyte splashes onto it, there's no need to worry. As you can see, the yellow LED is on, which means our heating system is on standby. Now we just fire up the car and see what other signals we get. There you have it, fellas. We have two glowing green LEDs, which means the system is up and running. The battery is going to gradually start warming up. After throwing it in, we take the safety strap and buckle the battery up. We don't want it going anywhere. Keep in mind that when this LED is glowing, it isn't consuming a whole lot of energy. Just about 20 milliamps which is less than a security system, so no need to worry there. Before heading out, you know it's unclear when was the last time this engine had its oil changed, and no idea what's been used before. So yeah, I've decided to do an oil change, just in case. Anyway, here's where we add. The key element here is the battery, which we've insulated. We've also changed the oil, so everything's ready for us to freeze the car up. Anyway guys, we're looking good so far. We've come to our spot. We've already done a test spray on the car. Everything's looking great. It has gotten a bit warmer outside. We're looking at like minus 29 degrees Celsius. Anyway, water freezes up like right away. So I reckon everything will be just perfect. Let's carry on freezing the damn thing. So yeah, fellas, everything's great. A few days have passed, and while we thought it would get warmer, it just didn't. We've been seeing stable minus 30 degree weather, closer to minus 40 degree temperature during the night. So now we've come out here. We sprayed the car a bit more in the morning, and here's what we're looking at. Looks good. We have a nice, solid layer of ice. So we've accomplished one task. Two more to go. First off, we have to pry the door open somehow. Second would be starting the car. You do remember we left the battery here, right? To check the thermal casing while we're at it. Right, let's get this thing open, fire it up. Enough talk, let's warm it up. Anyway, guys, I've freed the door up without doing much damage. The door does give in when you hammer it, as in the metal gets deformed from all that vibration. Meanwhile, the ice starts falling to pieces, considering it's pretty much frozen solid. Right, this is nice. Without a crowbar... Come on now! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
There we go. The door is now open. Awesome. It seems to be even lower now. Right, where's the choke? Press the gas. It works! Anyway, fellas, we've got the car running. I've rented myself this here device. I want to open the hood and see how cold the battery's gotten. Let's have a look. So yeah, guys, we've got the hood open and here's the picture. As you can see, the LED strip is showing us two green indicators. Which means the battery is warming up. Let's see now. Airbox lid temperature is minus 32 degrees. Moving along. Rocker covers. Let's say 3 degrees. Exhaust manifold. We're looking at 280 degrees. That thing warms up pretty much right away. We've checked the engine bay temperatures, now let's check the battery. After sitting for about three full days outdoors and with almost minus 40 degree temperature during the night. It's plummeting pretty fast. You can see it coming down right before your very eyes. You can also see the infrared radiation coming from the sheets. Check it out. Let me see if I can get a reading. 22, 25. Right, let's close the lid. There you have it. Anyway, guys, just as you requested, we've frozen the car down to its core. You saw how to get inside by carefully hammering the metal, which will give a tiny bit, while the ice falls off without damaging the car itself. No dents left behind, no nothing. However, this is a Lada. I don't know how this will work on a Bentley, for example, or a late model Mercedes. Then again, people do tend to keep these cars in garages. Anyway, you guys saw the battery for yourselves, okay? I was actually quite surprised to see that after about three days, upon opening the lid and having a look with a the thermal camera, that even though the battery did get pretty cold, I mean, the engine bay got down to minus 35, while the battery stayed at minus 17, which started falling right away, down to about minus 22, until we stopped. Maybe it was minus 24. So yeah, fellas, thermal casing is quite useful. For those of you who live in such a brutal sub-zero climate, if you're interested, there will be a link in the description. So check it out and maybe even place an order. It's actually not too expensive. So yeah, guys, I've fulfilled your request. This exercise was quite a success. Everything's great. Anyway, watch our videos, subscribe, make a few suggestions, leave some comments, and see you later. that? Unfortunately, yeah, here's where we at. I mean, it's still okay. We froze it differently to last time, which was pretty hardcore. It's possible to free the wheels up. You have to ride the clutch a bit, but that's no biggie. I guess now we can literally carry this car out of here. There you have it.